Welcome, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the State Palace Theater, great venue here in New Orleans, for tonight's main event. Twelve rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bad Intentions! His opponents in the blue corner, please welcome Bad Intentions! All right, fellas, remember my instructions in the dressing room? Let's have a good, clean fight, all right? Touch him up and come up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Many may believe that in a matchup like this, power puncher versus power puncher, that he who has more power wins. But in a way, is it as simple as saying he who has more fundamentals wins? Yes, absolutely. He who has a missile to get that bomb to the target, he's going to win. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. <laughs> Good block there by Bad Intentions. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Committed to that left hand and it's working out. Good block by bad intentions. through this round. A smart and resourceful uppercut by Bad Intentions. It's been a recent trend, Teddy, where we've seen in the heavyweight division a lot of Eastern Europeans dominating. Why do you think that is? Same thing in basketball. I don't think they're the better athletes, but you know what? There's an urgency. There's a real hunger. This is their opportunity. The fighters over here and the basketball players for that part, they have too many options here. Over there, they make them. Holy cow! Bad Intentions is in a bad place right now. He was tagged. All right, come on, come on, guys. Work it out, work it out. No holding. Defense for defense. He went from being on the edge of the cliff to now climbing back up the mountain. Well, you know, that's where you'd want to know if a guy recovers fast. Obviously, he has the capacity to recover very quickly. A barrage of punches that time. Good combination. Yeah, that's what you want. You don't want one at a time. You want three or four. comes to an end and that's one of those rounds Teddy that just takes on a certain style a certain characteristic and that was a busy one yeah it was a busy one look Joe you don't have to look for these guys they're right there in front of you why do you think that is why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens because of styles you know styles make fights in this case you see in proof of that right there both guys that are aggressive both guys that are very confident really well that time and it protects his head able to counter that attack jab and a 
straight right by bad intentions. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counterpunching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. by bad intentions. Halfway through round number two. Throws a counter punch there. Well targeted counter punch by bad intentions. and true method that works out very well the counter punch landing by bad intentions <laughs> nice block by bad intentions Right back with some offense of his own. Good exchange. He fires back. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a non-stop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. A headshot blocked. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Good combination landing there. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. He has walked through bullets, bazookas, and bombs, and he's still standing in there tonight, Teddy. Yeah, this is a testament not just to the physical makeup. I know a lot of people at home are going to say, wow, what kind of bone does he have inside that chin? But it's his mind, too. He's making a choice, just like you do in life and other things. He's making a choice to deal with this. A lot of guys would have given in already. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. told us all along the strategies to fight on the outside. He cannot be smothered like that. That's why you see him pushing away and shoving his man back. Good counter punch. He scored well after being hit himself. There's no need to be on the Some fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap, they let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Well placed shot after landing there again. 
Final 10 seconds. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Great movement to get away from those punches. Pulls the trigger again. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Bad intentions is strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense. He's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride. And it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counterpunch landing by bad intentions. And he returns on that exchange. Cut. Oh man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Good block there by bad intentions. And a smart counter punch by bad intentions. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Protecting his head well with his guard. Coming to the end of this round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone and where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Blocks that punch. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Nice block by bad intentions. And a good counter by bad intentions. I'm wondering what the opposing corner is going to do here. They got to their man earlier. They were able to rock him, and really nothing changed. He's showing them the same exact look, the same exact style that he came here with. Well, first of all, the opponent should keep doing what he's doing. You know, you're landing, you found something that's working. Stay with it until he changes. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance 
to start to chuck something back at him a little. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Well, he took one right there, but then he targeted one right back. Counterpunch by bad intentions. I don't know how they are keeping this up. They are setting such a scorching pace of action in this fight. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Keep working the jam. Got blocked. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Back to the body. Off the rope, off the rope, circle. And he pulls the trigger again. He's doing a really nice job here on the outside. He's staying safe. He is away from his opponent's danger zone, but yet he's able to accomplish things offensively. Yeah, he's getting full extension on his punches is what you're basically saying, Joe. He's doing a good job of that. If he threw his punches from a little too close, he would get time. So he's making sure he's at the right place when he first gets those punches moving. Good looking counter punch. Fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Get that head moving. Way through this round here. <laughs> Bad intentions is doing half of his opponent's job for him. He's a sitting target. This is like being in the gym for his opponent right now. Yeah, he's just standing straight up, making himself much, much too available. He's committed to that left hand, and it's working out. The defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Keep working the jab. Time. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Nice block by bad intentions. Last 10 seconds. Tensions has got to be feeling the impact of that uppercut. We've reached the halfway point of this battle. Real good fight here. Tough to get a sense of 
who's really up. I could see making an argument for either guy, but that's a testament to both guys and what they've been willing to bring to this battle tonight. Yeah, and what is a testament to Joe is that it's an enjoyable fight. After a while, you don't even concentrate on who's up. All you know is you're enjoying every bit of it. Oh, that's got to hurt. A big body shot. Punch it, punch it. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Barrage of punches now. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Block that punch. Good looking counter punch. One minute to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh boy, what a round. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by bad intentions. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judge's scorecard. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Come on, get Comes right back with some offense of his own. Good block by bad intentions. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. One for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Great movement to get away from those punches. Nice block by bad intentions.
defense just covering up down low. Good exchange. He fires back. Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. Nice block. Oh, bad intentions is banged up by a left hand. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Targeted counter punch by bad intentions. End of the round here. And as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And, you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remember. And a good counter by bad intentions. Clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Bad Intentions. <laughs> Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. Joe, it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Well-placed counter by bad intentions. <laughs> bad intentions is jammed by an uppercut. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. <laughs> Looks like he has some blood under his eye around the cheek. Parries that punch away. Final 10 seconds. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Good looking two punch combination by bad intentions. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counter punch landing by bad intentions.
caught by bad intentions. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Locks it away. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, it gets caught. Punched by bad intentions. <laughs> Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. That was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you're seeing proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. Well-targeted counterpunch by bad intentions. Teddy, I know you swear by it, and we're seeing it right in front of us. Good fighter, likes to fight on the outside, who's having a stellar night with that jab. Hey, look, if you're going to be an accountant, you better know math. You better know how to add. You're going to be a good fighter, as far as I'm concerned. You better have a good jab. Oh, that's got to hurt. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Keep busy, guys. Come on now. Keep busy. Turn defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. Not able to land the headshot. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Blocks that punch. Returns to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Good block by bad intentions. Well, he took one right there, but then he targeted one right back. Hand. We 
come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down, blue or red corner, what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. He scored well after being hit himself. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Good job staying away from the danger there. Got him with a left hand. Well placed counter punch by bad intentions. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Good things come to those who wait or those who persevere. He persevered. Oh, good things to have. The, the fight. judges That's have put down their scores as we come to the end of a very exciting back and forth fight. Let's send it up to the ring announcer to hear which way it goes. Well, it's been said it's like kissing your sister. It goes down as a draw. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessa.